So with the new announcement of the device-driven user enrollment, we wanted to kind of take some time and show what it looks like. I got went and got it, went and set it up just so we're ready when device base comes out. You see here I'm in settings. I'm gonna click on the sign in worker school. I'm gonna put in my email address and we'll see what happens next. You can see here it's invoking the enrollment URL, doing some magic in the background. So see here now it talks about iCloud for work, pretty neat. We hit sign to iCloud and you'll see what happens next. I'm gonna hit continue. This is piggybacking off my managed Apple ID integration with Azure. You can see here Azure is federated with Okta, so it's sending me over to Okta. It's a little, sl little slower than normal because we're doing this all on LTE, but really no big deal. What's interesting here is you notice they do, they're they doing it in like an incognito window, which one I can tell from the color and two I know because I don't have password enabled in Okta, but I found that Okta has a tendency so saying Okta has a tendency to do it anyway when incognito is involved for whatever reason so now this is just finishing up real quick So now it's finishing, signing me into iCloud, now that all the authentication is done. I'm going to allow remote management. No big deal. But you can see here overall they've done a good job with providing proper information where you need it so that you're not confused and you know what's going on. So you can see here, we're now complete can see that it's all tied all in. Has both my personal and my work perimeter, which is really neat. And even in VPN device management, you can see I can get there as well. It's gonna show me what profiles that were actually applied, which seems to it's still working on. But overall, really nice, clean, solid experience. And this will only get better once the device-driven comes in and we have access to even more profiles and configurations.